So the next game we have here is Pirate Simulator for the Powers event and the prize is the Power Gloves. Now as uh, what we need to do for this event, I'll read it right here. It says, Crystals imbued with mysterious energy have emerged across the land. Meanwhile, there are tales of formidable adversaries striking down other pirates. Collect the crystals to forge a powerful sword capable of defeating this dangerous new enemy. So basically, we're going to find these crystals around the area and kill some pirates that spawn from those crystals. And then once we get all three of the crystals, we can form or forge a powerful sword and then a boss will spawn. We kill the boss. But first, to start this event before everything, we have to do the tutorial. So the tutorial will be at the top of your screen. And I'm on the last step right now, but the first step is to summon talk to Jerry. Then um then we talk then we summon a boat, then we go to the island that we need to go, then we uh, pickaxe rock then put the cargo into the ship and then we step six go to Jerry to go and deposit the cargo now you'll all know how to do this by following the way the waypoint of the marker it's orange now I was like all right well we did that and I was like all right touch this wall why not but as you can see there's a blue arrow on your screen to the left it says event and when you click on those uh, click on the power of gloves it'll say start mission so okay start the mission so it's pretty simple you might think i might i thought kind of it would be a little bit hard to do this one because i never played the game other, other than zombie rush and zorber 2 zorbers 2 i've played them before but it's pretty simple follow the follow the steps and follow the marker so here we're getting close to the first one which is uh, the ruby and once we start to get close to it uh we touch it and enemies start to spawn so all right so you get your sword out so we're attacking them. Now this is obviously sped up by like times two ish or less, and we kill it. And there's a little cutscene here, and we get the ruby. Boom, done. All right. Next, we have to go to the emerald. So we look at the look at our look around us. Try to find a waypoint. There it is, a thousand away from us, which I'm assuming usually is by studs. Um, but if you know how to drive your ship, uh, you can get stuck like this, and uh, I don't know why this is so troubling. I tried, I tried my best to get it out, but if you do get stuck, I'm assuming just reset and do it again. Kind of sucks, but oh well. Now here's a problem. Um, you other people can trigger the event and start it, start it. Uh, first without you and so that happened that that makes it like you kind of lose experience because when you do kill the pirates uh, you get uh, experience uh, so on the bottom left you have ranks and every time you kill a pirate you get XP so I was rank 1 and I killed two of those pirates and it ranked me up to rank 2 so that's pretty good um, here's a problem the you'll see in a, in a minute or two that when you're gonna go find the sapphire it would be rank 2 to on oh no, a rank three to uh, even uh, activate the crystal, the event to kill pirates. Luckily, there was somebody else doing the event, and they were rank five. So I just hopped on, and it took me a while because, well, the guy was, didn't want to die for some reason. I can understand, but as you can see, the person right there, he cleared out the pirates there, and I was able to take it. So I took it, but the problem still persists that. I need to be rank three to do the sapphire. Now everybody can do everybody be rank three. So how do you level up? Well, it seems like I'll play the game a little bit as intended. So obviously mine rocks, I guess, and I have to go back and forth. So I would recommend that I don't know if those pirates that you killed over there would rank you up to rank three. Um, but if you don't kill the pirates over there and somebody else did, and you're able to take the emerald, then uh, I would rank probably go to the closest island you get you got next to your island and start mining a bunch of rocks to you level up i don't know what's the best way to do that like all right well i know i'm rank three so but i saw okay this guy's coming she's gonna go activate the pirates and i'm gonna take some kills from the pirates I'll take some kills from him so he tries to fight them and he gets pretty low so he gets pretty scared 
Um, and he just starts running around, basically. I was like, oh, this is going to take me so long. Because the guy kept running around. It was very annoying, like, uh, to actually kill them. So, like, since you, since the white bubble pushes you back every time, and he, he can walk in it freely, it took me a while to, you know, get these kills. It takes about five or six hits to kill these pirates. It's pretty annoying. It took me a while. Because um, this guy was just, like, didn't want to die for some reason. I was pretty low, too, but I guess they're just aggro on him, not me. So gotta go the opposite direction to kill them and so oh i'm so close to leveling up here just need one more you know hit right here one more kill um but yeah it's so annoying but we got it so we ranked up and lucky me that we found the sapphire it's all pretty simple there's hit uh there's waypoints everywhere and so once you get the third one it prompts you to craft a sword and he kills my fort wall sadly whatever and so we go back to our ship. I don't remember which one it was. It took some random guy's ship. It's probably my ship. Uh, and we head back to the island. Now that we got the powerful sword in quotations, to go fight this guy, Dreadbeard, is what his name was. I don't remember, to be honest. With the sword of power, it does like, decent damage. I don't know. Whatever. Dreadbeard. And so we fight him. He's pretty simple to kill. You, I don't know what happens if you die, and I don't know if he resets his health. Like I said, there's a lot of ifs in there. Like I don't know what happens if I die, or there's a lot of stuff that I don't know because I did it in one try. It's pretty simple to do these events, but you can dodge his attacks. So like when he does swing, you can just uh, strafe backwards, and you won't take any damage from his attack. He does, he, does, he does do a decent amount of damage, but you can just power through him. And there we go. That's Pirate Simulator. Find all the crystals. Well, first, do the tutorial. Then, activate the quest. Do, do find all the crystals. Kill the pirates. Get to rank 3. Then, craft a sword. Then, go back to your island and kill that pirate. And that's the event for Power Glow.